how to solar power, how to upgrade solar power system, or how to power your home with a renewable energy, solar, wind, or hydro, or battery backup. So that's what I'm talking about today. So you guys can see the Ford Focus batteries are gone. And now I have the LG cam. This one's uh, running up to about uh, 60, I can charge them up to about 66 volt on for 48 volt uh, system for these guys here, the, the Outback. So, and the 24 volts that you guys have seen, the Twin Towers here, it runs on these Twin Towers. Okay, so 600 amp hour, that's each module, each tower, 600 amp hour, 600 amp hours, but now it's a 12 volt system, and these are total of 17.088 uh, kilowatt hours on this one. So if you divide 17.808 by 2, you can see what each tower can handle okay so it's eight modules here so 600 600 would have been 1200 that's what I did first at 12 volts and series it so now it's 600 amp hours at 17.8 17.088 watt hours so right now these are the um, the LG cam right here and LG cam is a 48 volt straight 48 volt each module is a 48 volt. It's about over 60, 66 volt. So each module, when I charge them, is 66 volt. So 48 volt module. So all I got to do is uh, parallel each battery, positive, 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 negative, negative, negative. That's what you see right there. So here, this is where they used to be. Okay. So I move them here, right there. So who knows? I'm making a room. If I end up finding these ones again, then I can fill them up here. And it takes the 48 volts so that I can have a lot of power on 48 volts. Okay. Uh, um, uh, 2.5 kilowatts. So 2.5 times uh, 6. So you, you can do the math right there. So I can able to have 6 or more of them here. Then I can able to get a solid system. Just two modules. LG Cam and Volkswagen E-Golf. These are all um, uh, made in Japan batteries. So it came from um, uh, Chrysler Pacifica, and this one is a Sanyo. This the first module here is a is a Sanyo. I think the second module uh, tower here. I think is a I think it's a Samsung or Panasonic. I think it's Panasonic or some Samsung. One of the two. I forgot, but I have the specs. Well, this is what I've been doing all day, guys, and. Um, Put in the system and um, instead of getting all cleaned up, clean up the box. And right now I'm doing laundry. This is how laundry affects the, <laughs> it works with the machine, see? Anytime it's spinning, zzz, 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 that's how the amps is taken. And we've been sitting for days now, what, about five days with these batteries with no charge. I, I turned the solar off and... Um, I turn the breaker off for the solar and the charge controller is still sitting which is here so it's still there so that's why you're seeing that little dots right there but there's no power coming in no power so this one says it's a 27 I don't know okay that's uh, from just seeing whatever is seen outside so so the breaker is off. You can see the breaker right there is off. This is 100 amp for the uh, um, the Magnum. So this is a BMK. So we are not putting any solar in at this point. So we just want to keep things this way. Energize the batteries. Trying to see how I can drain them more. And so that I can able to charge them from bottom all the way to the top. So we tried the last time a little bit. I can't wait till it goes to 28. I can't, so I decided at 29 point something, 29.8, very close to 30 uh, volt. So I charged them, but um, it took almost about 200 amp hours. We have to return back to the batteries at that time for just about three days. 
So I want to see how far we can go with this. And uh, since I'm going to be home, if I can able to let the system go all the way down and shut down by itself and fire it up again, which it's not that good, but I just want to see how I can bring the batteries down and start them up all the way, charge them to the top, you know, like uh, balancing them in, in, in search and see what the system can do all towards that. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn the breaker, the disconnect on the side here for the 48 volt system. And what we're going to do, I haven't um, set up the uh, this one yet, so I can fire up the breaker that's on the corner here. So, just to show you that... Uh, the batteries are hooked up. Okay. You got the batteries going. So I have to throw the breaker now for this guy. Which is going to be on the corner right there. So get it all go. I already wired it now. It's just a matter of putting the uh, the breaker. And get it on. So we're sitting here. And that's why. We didn't power up the one of these things yet because I want to make sure everything is done before it's gonna all power up. Okay, so I got a lot of stuff that I disconnected last time, so it's just a matter of getting them all connected again. Then we can go from there. Like and subscribe, JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. All right, let's fire up the uh, inverter again. See. Is on and the hub. Sorry, the the mate and the hub is on. So I have to hook up that um, FNDC. When I hook it up, then it's gonna start giving a state of charge, and you can see. Whatever is saying right there. Batteries are sitting. They've been sitting for approximately a year and a half or something. And they're still sitting at 65.2 volt. Since we started building up this entire project to the Magnums. And pretty soon you're going to see these guys started going into search mode. You can see pulsing soon. Yeah. Like and subscribe. JW Solar USA. That's what he does. He's going in search mode. Now he's doing it now. See the light blinking? It's on search mode. So right now you can able to produce power right away on these batteries right here. That's sitting right there. Okay? Right purely 48 volt. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. JW Solo USA. Let's power back this thing off here. I don't like the uh the left opening. I wish I would have something uh, right, so it's kind of strenuous how things are here, but it opens on the left and um, can't open that widely because that inverter is going to be hitting the wall and it's already wired, so I have to be very careful to keep on jamming the wall, but when I close it and done with it, I don't have no business of getting in there anymore. So that's what it is. So we're doing laundry right now. And like and subscribe. JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Bye for now. This is how I power my house and doing laundry. I'm doing everything. And the sun is outside, but uh refuse to use the sun because we are trying to drain the batteries and see how far how many days we can go without um, using the grid using the solar that's what I meant